So I have a TikTok that's at almost a million views right now and um, I have like all of Australia's population coming after me. So apparently Chemist Warehouse is having half price oak guy nail polish so I am running because they close at 5 which is quite early but it's Sunday. Everything is always so bright in here. OPI, where are you? Uh, like all the labels are always so bright. Okay, half price. Am I missing something? Please hold. Just, I knew it was gonna be somewhere like super obvious. Okay, what are the options? Okay, half price though, that's so good. Okay, let's pick out some colors. Okay, this was, ooh, focus please. No, ah, this was really the only color that I could find that I found quite interesting. I was hoping for more of like an orange, but this, this works. Something different. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Ashley here, American, moved to Australia like three months ago now. I actually have a voice. I'm healing um, very well, actually. Thank you so much for all of your sweet comments in the last video. I hope it was at least like kind of amusing seeing like someone else sick and being like I'm so happy that's not me kind of vibe but um yeah I was pretty bummed with Chemist Warehouse. I did get one color but all their nail polish right now is 50% off and um if you've been keeping up my mom tried sending me nail polish from the states because it's so expensive here and um it's illegal to ship nail polish internationally so it's like a safety concern. Um, and she was so excited. She went out and bought me like all these really cute colors So when I go home to the States, I'll just have to bring them back with me But I might do an online order at chemist warehouse if shipping isn't too bad because I try to do a click and collect and there's like none in the area Yeah, I guess it's just what happens when you live on a small island, but I was going to get cooking. I Always get the lights wrong. So my flatmates labeled them for me because I always get them wrong Yeah, so it's kind of insane as a joke. Like a week ago, I posted a TikTok being like, well, insert here. Things in Australia that just genuinely do not make any freaking sense at all to an American who just moved to Australia. The bagels, moving on. And literally was just saying, the bagels here are a joke, the ones that I've had. And obviously I completely understand that it's not an Australian thing, but the amount of comments that I got being like, well, go home then if you don't like our bagels or we don't even have bagels here i've lived in australia for 30 years and we've never had one blah 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 um and it's just become a huge thing and um of course like something that is like not relevant to coffee at all went viral um so was not expecting that to the point where people like i barely know have been like oh i saw your your bagel tiktok and i'm like um thanks uh, a lot of the comments once people saw that I was in Hobart were like, oh, have you tried Bury Me Standing on Bathurst? And I have mentioned them before and I have said that they are definitely better out of the ones that I've had here, although they do kind of just taste like a soft baked pretzel, like a pretzel, a bagel shaped pretzel, if that makes sense. Like they're still a little bit dense and they aren't like boiled or maybe they are, but like it's not the same. You know, but anyway, the point of the story is I get that I'm not in America, Australia is different, but the fact that people just got so defensive. So yeah, if you want any amusement, just go through the comments of that TikTok of mine. It's um, at Coffee Nut on TikTok as well. Just like, geez, I did not realize that that would pop off the way it did. And there are even some people in the comments being like, why are Australians being so defensive right now? Like it's bread. And just like people being like calling me names and telling me to go home to America, it's like, well, I didn't come here for bread and I'm not gonna go home for bread. Anyway, amusement. 
thank you for enjoying this. Thank you for listening to this intermission. Back to the normally scheduled programming. Still on the taking my antibiotics with yogurt grind. I'm just like so traumatized and I just really don't want to get another pill stuck in my throat um, and whatnot. But um, I don't know, I've been enjoying, I normally don't like yogurt. Like even when I had dairy, I didn't really like yogurt. Is this even in focus? There we go. Uh, it's like really crappy out all of a sudden, so. No, it's not all of a sudden. I literally vlogged earlier going to the chemist warehouse. No, okay, anyway, moving on. Um, yeah, so, and I think, I don't know if it was on sale, but it was only like six bucks, I think, Yeah, it will be. I don't know, anyway, cheaper than some of the other options, but uh, that's what's going on. I'm making my curry, it's a blast. Look at this, branching out, not tacos. Who's proud of me? Literally, we are just killing I'm it today. Out too. I'm doing my oh, yep, yeah, Meg's branching out. Everyone's branching out on this lovely Sunday night. What, you thought I was talking to myself? Okay. <laughs> yeah, literally just talks to myself. It's fine, everything's great, guys. <laughs> Good morning, happy Monday. Did not bring my camera, so phone quality it is. It's like so shaky. I'm headed to go meet up with a friend for coffee. I'm quite excited. Place that she recommended I've never been to in North Hobart. So I'm wearing my seal shirt today for good luck. Just watch this audio not even pick up because of uh, the wind. But I hopefully will get sent my seal data set this week or next week. Finally, I've been waiting like months. So it's been caught up in uh, legal stuff. So crossing my fingers like this angle can we that was like my favorite tree this whole autumn and it's almost done falling and I kind of want to cry because it was a gorgeous tree Okay, back from coffee, it was nice trying a new spot. I got this like random blanket on sale at Target. If I can like get this out, just like a random cotton throw. I was gonna use it for a shoot that I was gonna do today, but um, yeah, it's really crappy out. So I'll do it tomorrow. And then this I thought would be cute for like a future coffee flat lay. This was literally 50 cents at Typo. Like the girl had to ring it up twice because she was like, um, I don't know if it's actually 50 cents, but that was good. My AirPods weren't, my AirPods weren't pausing, so, um, yeah, that's, that's another fun thing. But I'm just really in the mood to bake cookies, the same ones I always bake, because I'm so original. Let's do it. Oh my goodness, it's lighting. Oh yeah, I finally got, like, a cheap baking mixing bowl in this hot pink color. It's like four bucks, so that was something I've been meaning to get for a while, because if you've been following, I... First bake these cookies here in like a pot because I had no bowls. So we're moving on up in the world guys, I promise. running around all morning. I was over in Rosny for a coffee, got some work done, got back on the bus, grabbed something at Dachi and Dachi. I 
think that's how you pronounce it. Their beef and onion thing is like really good and it's dairy free. Got a coffee from Park Lane. Now I'm headed to a lab meeting, but this mountain today is just so stunning. Yeah, hectic morning, but you know, I'm quite chaotic if you haven't noticed. Okay, more BTS, here we go. Chug, 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 just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's very good wine. Coming, that? coming soon to the feed. Mini setup, finishing the wine that Tatiana graciously poured me for a photo. Back in St. David's. Yeah. It's fine, I'll just, you know, have wine at like, what is it, 1 p.m.? Well, it's 1.30. 1.30? Oh, perfect. It's 5 p.m. somewhere, it's fine. It's 5 o'clock somewhere, that's very true. Photos coming soon to the feed. I genuinely have no idea what the last clip that I filmed was. It honestly could have been a week ago and I have no idea. Um, but hello i will be filming a like three four month update of moving to australia soon it's on my to-do list for the weekend but i don't know i was feeling of like going somewhere change of scenery so i was thinking let's go back to kingston because i really want i'm really like in the mood to give maxi coffee another another go because i really enjoyed it last time so let's go woo Okay, welcome to Kingston. Yay, I'm so excited. Oh, okay. Mountain isn't fully out today, but it's okay. It's still gorgeous as ever. Yeah, I don't really have a plan except to go get coffee. But, um, Channel Court's right there. Last time I was here, I went to Madame Clark. But I think I might try Emerald Duke today because I tried Kingdom Coffee last time I was here. I don't know, guys. The possibilities are endless. Let's, we're gonna figure it out together. How's your day going? How, how's your week going? What's your weekend looking like? Oh, this is a pretty mural. Cute. Nice. Kind of reminds me of a Born in Brunswick. Born and Brunswick mural. Yeah, cute. The amount of times that I've walked by Cotton On and seen this and is like one day I'll buy it and I keep putting it off. Well, I got it. I treated myself. It's a bit, I mean, it's not horribly expensive. Like one of the few clothing items I've bought since moving here, but I'm so excited. Literally just had the biggest caffeine crash. The people at Moxie are Moxie. Oh my goodness, no, Maxie. Moxie is a soda that tastes like um, medicine that's from Maine. No, not Moxie, Maxie in Kingston. They are so sweet there. And um, they treated, like literally spoiled me to this like Ona coffee, um, like raspberry candy. And it generally tasted like raspberry candy. But yeah, just had like the biggest caffeine crash. I like passed out, but go show Maxie coffee some love. I've been there before, but I just, it's extra amazing today. Extra good.